What's up, guys? Today is Monday. Joe's All Star Tools. It's a hot, hot Monday here in Mississippi. Y'all don't see I'm sweating. Joe's got the AC kicking, and look at all the Milwaukee stuff. So, this is going to be a good one. So, you guys, come on. Joe, you got this thing full of Milwaukee tools today. Well, I kind of picked up everything I had in my car, my garage, and uh, well, FedEx caught up with me. Somehow I thought my truck was emptier than it was when, uh, <laughs> when I picked it up, and so I had a bunch ordered. And so yeah, oh, I, I was amazed how much I packed in here over the weekend, and I packed it. I got yeah. stuff packed. It's full. I don't have everything in here, but I got it packed. But uh, I hope full. everybody had a great weekend. I know I had a good one, a busy one. And there I was, I was calling somebody ordering a six pack today. And I says, yep, it's hot, it's early. And I was trying to order a six pack. And I says, yeah, I'm thirsty too. So, <laughs> uh, But that's a whole other story. Uh, speaking of stories, I said I was going to talk about my truck. I yeah. shouldn't, but... I had it three weeks, so I think I have my three things done, and maybe I'll get by for a week, first week, and I'm not going to go through a whole lot, but my radiator fan wasn't even on my truck, so when I, I called a guy, I said, hey, look, uh, when I do a forest regen, it, it stops because it's overheating, When I'm running that, it, it was fine. He goes, Joe, I didn't do anything with your, uh, with your uh, radiator your cooling system. I said, I didn't say you did. I just said, hey, this is happening. We need to look at it. I don't have time for that right now. He didn't have time for me. So it's like, okay. Oh, well, when I made my normal stop there, there it was 100% full. We could force a regen. He says, look, it's only going to take two minutes. Oh, I don't got time for that. It's all right. Later, one of my guys, he uh, pops the hood up. He says, let's take a look. Pops the hood up. Doesn't look two seconds. He says, Joe, I see your problem. Sure as shit. My sure radiator, shit. You my, say my, it, Joe. My, my radiator fan wasn't even hooked up. It's like, so the next day when so I... So it was just unplugged? No, it wasn't even screwed on. Oh. It wasn't even screwed on. It was just laying right in there. So mm. my my friend says, uh, says, I'll put it on for you. I says, oh, hell no. I says, I'm going to go back there tomorrow morning. And maybe he'll see the ill of his ways and maybe see to uh, putting it on. You know, he's always there early. And well, of course that day he wasn't. I waited around an hour and I was on the manager and that and he printed out my whole history of everything from my my truck was in the shop for. It's pretty good size. Oh, but anyways, yeah. so I'm walking out, I told the manager what was going on. He says, Can you go get a picture of that? I said, No, I don't have to, I got it right here. Send him a picture of it. Mm. Uh, I'm walking out and I said I see my, my I see David, I says, David? He says, I found a problem for that. And he goes, oh, what was it? I says, the radiator fan wasn't hooked up. He goes, well, how did you do that? I'm like, oh, that's, that was it. It's like, how did I do that? I says, I'm quite certain I didn't do it. I says, I know my wife didn't do it. And we all know you're the only one that's worked on my truck. You tell me. He had nothing to say. So anyways, then week two, mm -hmm. the back of my truck's all loaded with oil motor oil so got some leak they washed my truck put it up on the lift and uh, my there's a heat temperature sensor thing that's that's leaking oil well so that's ordered and they says they won't take me it won't take about an hour or something to put it on you know so there are times three weeks four weeks whatever you know oh, man. but uh so week three, this morning, I put a new alternator on. Well, I, I carry a spare that's alternator. That's what I was thinking, so you keep one on. I, I keep one on the <laughs> truck, because that's usually a get towed, yeah. wait wait a month for them to look at it, wait a month for them to get one in, wait a month for them to put it on. No, I keep one on the truck. It's, you know, I learned that from my off-road days. You know, when you go jeeping, you take jeeps off and you go on big rocky things. Yeah. You take extra axles, stuff mm -hmm. like that, lockers, because 
You expect to do stuff like that. On this, you don't. But yeah, that's true. I carry an alternator or two. But anyways, well, hopefully, anyways, you I, need to you need to drag this thing to oh the Peterbilt place. Man, well, get you one with a with, Cummins in it. With all this oil on here. Anyways, I didn't want to talk about the truck that much. <laughs> I really didn't. But it just, well, let's talk about some tools. You know, I'm glad you mentioned that. Look Show everybody what you got there right is. here, because I bragged about these, well, not these drill bits, but drill bits that is exactly like those. Oh, so I was going to say very similar, but the exactly. Hopper, the hopper step bits. USA made, they are tungsten, cobalt, high molly. 29 piece. 29 piece. And they're the full length, too, not the mechanics length. Self-centering. For hardened broken bolts yep. and these are quite something um, I just come available where I was able to get a hold able to get a hold of these 29 piece set and it goes all the way down mm -hmm. and yeah, it goes all the way up one sixth or one, one sixteenth, sixteenth up to a half inch yeah. 29 piece USA made. I got them for 367. 367. Cool. Yes. And I've been moving a bunch of them already. Awesome. That is, that's one heck of a set. I saw that. It's like, heck yeah, give me a bunch of them. And I did. I had a <laughs> bunch of them. Have that. Uh, swap take, a, take a look at some. On, check that out first. Okay. We'll go to this here. We have. I can grab kind of easy. We got 1200 peak amps, 500 cold cranking amps. Gives you all the cables, everything you need, and a nice handy dandy Carrying soft case. padded case. Right. Um, I got these for. Uh, 235. 235. So what size engines is it? Is It'll go up here? to a seven liter diesel truck. Okay. Cool. 500 cold cranking amps. That's How much for those again? 235. 235. Nice. All right, you gotta, you gotta look at something Milwaukee. I mean, we've been looking at batteries and all kinds of other stuff. But Tons of Milwaukee stuff in here today. We got the big old pack out. Putting it together, it's pretty impressive. I mean, the, the way it locks together is simple as it does. I mean, it comes apart that easy. Wow. All it does is put it on in place, it's on. So you just pick up that one center ring. Pick up the center link and slide it out. Wow, that's cool. Now, got aluminum pillars in between, is they got a rubber o-ring seal all the way around it, it's weatherproofed, you got all kinds of storage compartments in here, each section is uh, set up differently, but they're shot, you know, they're made to be dropped, handled, abused. Near my sign over there, I'd be hitting it. Nothing but heavy duty. <laughs> Nothing but heavy duty. Maki pack outs. Maki well, needs to make a tool truck, so what they need to do. And you know, buy I, one that'll actually run for a little I, while. I have said many times, they had one, I would I would be in it. I got that for 377 the whole setup. Okay. 377. Cool. So wrench. Mm -hmm. Soft handle, quarter, three-eighths, half, 90 teeth, locking, flex. Yep, those are nice. Uh, I actually like the 90 tooth better than the 120. And you got the me. Because the heads are thinner, they just seem to work better. You like, got me to understand that, and yeah. uh, yes, you are absolutely right. If you guys haven't noticed, this part of the head depth wise not width wise but this way the 90 tooth is a whole lot smaller and to me the 90 tooth is just as smooth as the uh 
the 120s. But they are extremely nice ratchets. How thin that is, guys. So you got what other ratchets you got in here, Joe? In comparison, right there's a 120 in it. Nice and many. Here's a uh, Cornwall one. Well, that's a half inch, but you guys can kind of. There's a half inch in here. But this, uh, you can see how thin this is. And here's a three eighths. I mean. Yeah, look at that. Look, super tiny. I know it's kind of hard for you guys to tell on video. Well, right here's a uh, a socket. Oh, that's a nine. You got a ten somewhere? We'll hold one up here, and that way you guys can see this how skinny. Cause everybody knows what a ten millimeter looks like. Well, here's a nine. That's as close as we can get. But you can see, see how thin. That's the three eighths drive. Now hold it up against the half, quarter, quarter inch. Quarter. Maybe it fits guys, right inside there. You guys can see. These things are super, super slim. The quarter inch is very, yeah, very see, see how that fits in there on that nine? Yeah. So there you go. So y'all know how thin it is now. But the 120s are a good bit thicker. And these things are super smooth. Get you in a tight spot. Smooth. Very, very, very smooth. Very nice. I'm sorry I stole your thunder on that, Joe. I get excited oh, talking about ratchets. Hey, I just anytime, kind of love them. anytime you want to cut in. <laughs> so what does that set run in? 170. 170. 170. For all three. Three piece set. So you can buy one Matt Co for 160, or you can buy all three of Joe's for 170. Okay. I see a deal there. And Joe will ship. Did I say we had something else here. Joe will ship anything he's got on the truck. If you need a one inch impact, boom, he's got one. Boom. If you need a half inch impact, boom, he's got one. Quarter inch, three half, eighths. Half three eighths. Reciprocating combo. saw, flashlights, drills. Look at all the stuff he's got over here. Okay. There. Router. Yeah, router. Hey, you can do woodworking. Router, multi tool. And look, got another whole wall of stuff over here. Ratchets, Quarter inch, bit drivers. Bit drivers, polishers. And Joe's got the new versions too, not the old Gen 1s and stuff. Cut off Grinders, tools. Cut off tools. All you gotta do is text Joe. He's got it. He may have to look for it for a minute, but he's got it. Even if you need some Cornwell tools, he's got those. You see, we bought one of those last uh, week or week before that's last. That's not what that is. So. Thank you guys. Hey, bro. See you on the flip side. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys. If you need anything from Joe, his number's right down here at 731-412-7295. That's it. So, like always, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. If you want to see my funny forward warranty repair fix, I'll put a card up here. Y'all check that video out because it's funny. All right. Merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Click that button. Y'all have a great weekend. Or a great week. Sorry. See ya.